Since we've been living and traveling in an RV, one of the most frequently asked questions is, are we retired? And uh, no, we're not retired. And so right after that, the next question is, well, how are you able to manage this lifestyle? So in this video, we're gonna share some of the ways that we're making this work. The biggest factor that allowed us to get started RVing was that we sold our house. So we were able to put the money that we got from the house towards starting uh, the RV adventure, meaning uh, being able to get a, a truck and a, a fifth wheel to, to pay part of that, and then um, to get some of the accessories and some of the item, other items that we, we needed. And a large bit of that came from selling the other items that we didn't need right. any longer. And, you know, in turn, we had a little bit of savings for a while that we used from the, the sale of the house because we didn't spend it all directly on, on the truck and the, uh, the, the RV. We saved a little bit of that and decided that we'd be better off making uh, payments just like anyone does in a house or an apartment. And uh, we don't really have too much of a big problem with that. I know a lot of people like to be completely 100% debt free but we kind of figure there's some things that we're always going to be paying on. For example, cell phones, you know, so some of the communication and, and also a place to live. Um, well, we're, we're working and whittling that down. So, um, that's just the truth. That's where, yeah. what, what happened and, and yeah. how we did and that. So the way that we combat a place to live is by work camping. Um, there's tons of different opportunities for work camping anything from um, state parks, city parks, county parks, um, Corps of Army Corps of Corps Engineers, of engineers um, pr private parks. RV parks, uh, Christmas tree lots, pumpkin lots, um, of course Amazon and the beet harvest and things like that that people often talk about. Um, but we have done some work camping that was just for our site and utilities and then some that uh, also pays a little bit of money in addition to your site and, uh, and electricity yeah, and things like there's that. There's a whole so. lot of options and I, I guess as you said there's <laughs> ones where you can get your site and your utilities paid, there's some where you can get just paid and then there's some where you can get the utilities and site paid and then actually get some get income as well on top of that. Above that. Yeah. yeah. And so, so it, you know, if you're going to look into work camping, you really want to compare and see what kind of a commitment that you're in for. We've seen anything from as little as um, each working five hours a week uh, to get a spot and maybe even some additional income besides up to uh, a places hours, where yeah. each person had to work 40 hours and that was only yeah. for a site so they can really vary so but there's a lot of things out there so it's, there's so much opportunity yeah. and it, it, it's just a matter of, of, of searching in fact we didn't actually find any of what we've done <laughs> through directly through uh, other people uh, meaning that we it wasn't your typical things that you hear about like the beet harvest and Amazon <laughs> and things like that because we weren't on our way to where those <laughs> locations were we didn't have a, a, a need to go to South Dakota or anything and then and, and if we did we wanted to make sure it was on the path to something else so that it made sense driving that way to make that money uh, only to have spent it getting there or, or yeah, what have you. we've just kind of we've been at places that we were saying that we liked and inquired about work camping there and so that's worked out really well yeah definitely we would just see wow th this looks like a great place we'll go ahead and inquire and see what we can come up with and, and we've uh, landed some uh, fairly good gigs doing that we've done uh, guided hikes and, and taught uh, large uh, interpretive clinics and um, all kinds of yeah, different different things, things. so it, yeah just you can you can find just about anything. I mean, from dishwashing all the way up to probably building yeah. buildings, carpentry yeah. and stuff. I mean, right. it's just the sky's the limit. Another thing that we do to supplement our income or to help us live this lifestyle is to have seminars and workshops. And I've done these a lot in the past and they've been quite successful. I'm very happy doing them. They're a lot of fun. I enjoy it very much. 
and it's a little more challenging on the road to, to do them but it's it's uh, definitely something that I can do and they only take a couple hours at a time depending on which one they it is and I typically do those with regard to basic digital photography other types of photography seminars outdoor skills and survival and that type of thing yeah and you've done them for cities and wildlife refuges and um, corporations. corporations all over and they're always really well received so um, that's something that we are yeah and we're, we've got a few on. others that we're working on that involves uh, both of us a lot more since we're doing this now it's opened up some doors for us to do some other types of uh, seminars and workshops and we like that a lot we actually do those uh, in, in work camping too yeah, that we mentioned yeah. so that that's worked out really well that we've actually been in work camping situations where they've just given us the the go-ahead to run our own programs yeah, uh, for really great experience yeah it's been great so seminars and workshops are definitely something that we're holding on to and working on and, and trying to get them going even uh, better. Mm -hmm. Because of Bernie's extensive and varied uh, personal and professional experience, consulting and life coaching is something that comes naturally to him. So that's something that we're yeah, I en working I on also. I enjoy that quite a bit. I've worked uh, as a consultant to companies and uh, indirectly to television shows and different type of uh, types of expeditions and things like that over the years and it's just become a part of who I am I, I've always enjoyed uh, uh, coaching and, and consulting and even a little counseling here and there but uh, anyway it's it's definitely something that's in my wheelhouse and I enjoy very much and I've done quite well with in the past and we're hoping to try to nurture that a little bit more and implement that more while on the road. Yeah, so if you need any uh, consultation, <laughs> let us know. <laughs> I've been interested in photography for many, many years. I've just been completely in love with the whole concept. I love capturing images and I, I, I just like expressing myself that way. And over the years, I've managed to be published hundreds of times and to uh, do all kinds of different uh, photography work. Uh, weddings, which I didn't really care much for. <laughs> yeah. it's just too, too much, much pressure. Hanging. Yeah, too much. Uh, but anyway, uh, did good at them, but I, I try not to ever do that kind of thing. But uh, in, in recent years, I've been doing some photo gigs and uh, shooting for different companies or things like that. Uh, not, not a whole lot but uh, enough to kind of keep uh, it going as a one stream of uh, income. And we've been trying to transition that, um, meaning, well, we haven't been trying, but we're actually considering and, and working on a plan to transition that into uh, selling prints. I have hundreds of thousands of images that we have to go through and just try to select some of the ones that we think that people would like to have on their walls. And because of RVing, uh, we feel that it's a lot easier to put uh, canvas prints on the walls. They're a lot lighter. There's no glass that can break or heavy yeah. frames or anything like that. They're, and they can be put up with command strips. Yeah, they're great so, for RVs. I mean, they're great for a house too, but particularly for an RV, the canvas is definitely the way to go. Yeah, so we're hoping to uh, get all that up and running. And we'll keep you posted in the, the uh, description to this video when we have all that online and I, I really want to do it in a very reasonable way I'm not out to try to like gouge somebody or you know anything like that I just want to put the stuff out there that I've done and if you like it and appreciate it and want it for your RV or your home or your tiny house or whatever then it'll it'll be there for you to look at and, and make a decision yeah he's got some great photos Thanks. <laughs> in the past we've produced some books and ebooks for business and we're hoping to do that for uh, supplemental income while we're RVing now. Yeah, and we've got actually three, I think, pretty much in the works. And one of them's almost nearly completely written. We just have to tweak it a little bit. And then there's all the logistics of getting it online so that it can be uh, downloaded by people that want it without our having to be right. around a computer or anything so that it's all automated so and there's a lot of services that do that kind of thing and we've done it in the past so 
it's just a matter of putting together the time to do it. And uh, this is just another one of the streams of income that we're uh, working on that we have been able to do well with in the past. So we're hoping to get that going for the future too. Right. <laughs> so those are some of the things that we're doing to try to supplement our income while living full time in our RV. Yeah, we've put together a list of a whole lot of other ideas uh, that we've observed other people doing that are RVing as well as some of the things that we see that people could do, that right. there's a lot of needs out there that we've seen, so we've written down some of those things. So if you'd like to see a video on other ideas about making money while traveling, let us know in the comments area of this video, and we'll do our best to get that produced. And don't forget to share and subscribe. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. Where'd my prize lemons go?